Hello, welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, I'm going to do a Mercury retrograde reading just to give you an idea of these energies. Now, Mercury went retrograde um, October 31st, Halloween, and it will stay retrograde all the way through November 20th. Now, for those who don't understand what retrograde means, that means that the planet appears to be moving backwards. But when that happens, it affects us. Um, so with Mercury, and th this actually started happening yesterday with me, my computer just shut off several times by itself. Didn't know what was wrong with it. My computer started, uh, excuse me, my cell phone, I was trying to type a text message, just started typing. I have heard so many people say that they've had issues with the TVs, the cell phones. I, I lost my glasses, misplacing things. These are some of the occurrences that will happen with Mercury retrograde. It does affect our communication. Communication meaning anything, how we speak, you know, how we, um, you know, uh, relate to one another as far as passing information. And so it will tamper with that as you can see this is not a time to uh, begin any contracts either this is not the time if you've already started them prior to the retrograde that's okay but it's really not um, suggested that you begin anything during this time period um, this is a very powerful Mer Mercury retrograde and also remember that we're just coming off the the energies of the new moon in Scorpio okay so we're still kind of feeling the effects of that Scorpio is a very emotional sign um, Scorpio is in terror is the death. So that means big changes can happen in your life, whether you want them to or not. Universe is going to push out anything that does not serve your highest good during this time. Okay. All right, you guys, if this is your first time joining with us, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell. Every time the, um, I release a reading, you'll be notified. Remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Also, remember that these energies and the reading I'm about to do will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner, okay? All right, you guys, I do have your other readings coming out for November. And I know I'm a little behind with your October to November love forecast. I will be doing that soon. And also, the full moon will be in Taurus. Um, on November 12th. So we'll be um, rolling that one out as well. Okay. But in the meantime, let's try to get an idea what these energies are like for the Mercury retrograde from now until November 20th. All right. On to your reading. Hello, my Sagittarius. Okay. Let's get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, divine creator, universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the Mercury retrograde from October 31st through November 20th. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the Mercury retrograde for October 31st through November 20th. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm not taking all of those. Um, Spirit is saying I need to take all of those. Oh my goodness. It would be you, Sagittarius, with all of these cards. I was trying my best to put them back, and Spirit said, Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. We're going to read them off for you. Apparently, there must be a reason that all of them fail. So we will read them. And uh, let's see if you have any angel codes coming on, out for you. Okay, my Sagittarius, you definitely have angel codes coming through. You have 1010, and then you have 44, okay? Could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leo again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think all signs are represented. You got the Ten of Wands, the Chariot, Knight of Cups, Three of Swords in Reverse, Knight of Wands in Reverse, Ten of Cups, Four of Cups in Reverse, the Hierophant in Reverse, and then your overarching energy is this um, the Six of Pentacles. And with the Six of Pentacles, this is generosity, this is giving, this is receiving, um, this is help. 
you know, somebody in a position. One thing I know about Sagittarius, you all definitely like to help. You you like to help. Um, you like to, you know, be generous. Hard for you to receive sometimes, but you like to be generous. But this is somebody that has, you know, they're at their wit's end. They have carried too many burdens, okay? They're, and now they're ready for change. They're ready, ready for change. Did I tell you your angel codes too? I think I said 10, 10, and 4, 4. So I want to make sure. But yeah, you're ready for change. You're, you're ready to put all these burdens down and change because somebody's bringing in a cup of love. Somebody loves you very, very much, and they're turning their back to this, this burden that this burden, these burdens that you've been carrying around. They said, no, you need to change this. We're turning this into love. I love you. And I know that uh, I'm, I'm giving my love to you because you're recovering now from a broken heart. You're recovering now, now from maybe not being loved, but you're recovering from that space now of somebody who may have been um, treating you, um, being angry, being impulsive. This is, this is an angry person here, but this love is making this person uh, recover from it, okay? Which is bringing about, look, this happy home now. Okay, Ten of Cups. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This is happiness because somebody has decided to move away from this person, this this person that's uh, angry or, or was angry that caused maybe this heartbreak that you're recovering from. Okay, let me turn this this way, sorry. That you're recovering from. They, they're, they're, they have an awareness now that and they're choosing happiness, okay? Because somebody's bringing about, somebody's trying something differently. They have a new approach in life. They have a new approach on how they may be dealing with this person, okay? Um, because again, this person could have, this knight, this angry knight here, knight of wands, could have recovered and now turn into this knight here that is bringing this proposal and say, you know, I understand, you know, I have a new approach of what I need to be doing. Could be bringing marriage because the higher front represents marriage, but it also represents rebellion or a new approach, a new way. And I think it's more so of a new approach of, of looking at things now. Okay. Realizing that, you know, you were wrong from the past and now that uh, you're about to turn this thing around. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go for for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the Mercury retrograde for October 31st through November 20th. What messages? Okay. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace the new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. All right, well, there it is. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. There it is. You can clearly see you have definitely found the missing pieces, okay? Because something that was a burden for you has now turned into the Ten of Cups, which is happiness and beauty and peace because you have recovered. Okay, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Make this Mercury retrograde working for you, and it looks like it's going to work on your behalf if you go with the energies. If you want to do a private reading, information can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.